initial four in initial four to five minutes they are not able to solve a single question so what i would suggest is whenever you start your uh, quantica paper uh, quantica paper take a half minute break in the initial uh, then scan the whole paper whole paper like uh, scan uh, whatever topics which are good for you maybe arithmetic is your strength so solve those topics first then move over to the algebra then geometry and then uh, if, no, if number system is there so accordingly uh, utilize maximum out of your strength and then move towards uh, to your lower section so according to that uh, you can easily manage your paper also uh, quant may always try to focus more on the accuracy part uh, normally matlab generally people tend to focus matlab uh, theek hai they they calculate the prob probability that uh, one out of these four options i have to select so it the probability lag jayegi and i will get the correct accuracy answer but that, that's not the thing if right. you are getting negative it's one third negative and eventually agar uh, aapki agar accuracy 80 percentage se kam jati hai to it's very bad matlab game is not in your hand so right i think uh, these all things should uh, you should focus i think ketan sir can now uh, huh. take it so, forward kevela thank you so very much for that uh, pretty you know uh, up to the point now see uh, guys now what we have to do here is we need to help uh, students um so probably you know you guys can give the uh, uh, inputs step by step now uh, all said and done um you know basic problem yahan pe inko ye hai ki inka quants mein accuracy build nahi hota hai and maths ke liye accuracy is the most important and kevel said very straight forward ki bhai aap sochoge ki main 26 question mein se 23 question lagaunga and you know probably i can have 80% accuracy or 70% accuracy so i always keep telling students that when you talk about any quantitative uh, aptitude or when you talk about any exam which is an aptitude exam like cat sat and all that your accuracy is not an input it's basically an output you get to know it once it's done when we were in 10th and 12th standard we knew it like the questions are coming from textbook only so we could go ask you know my my accuracy is going to be input like i have seen these questions in my classroom tuition my textbook whatever but that doesn't really work in the aptitude exam like cat so how one should be developing that accuracy over a period of time because these guys have 5 months and you all agree that you know this is more than enough for anybody to even nail 99 and for 95 plus plus so uh, any input from your side manohar precisely from you bhai anything that you can tell these kids from a very lower level if you start let's say 80 percent teller who is going for 95 and a 95 percent teller who is going for 99.99 what they should be doing for the next 5 months so there are uh, multiple aspects to this by so uh, one of the primary one being the mindset okay so what happens is once you start tanking your tests and your percentile is not reflecting and you're not in the 90 category right it's so easy to get bogged down while preparing for cap definitely don't get bogged down because it's all about the d day and uh, there was some professor who had mentioned this that nobody is going to ask you ki tumko mock mein kitna aaya tha and everyone is going to remember how much you got on the d day Absolutely. okay so don't lose heart first of all okay and uh, second is uh, kevalya mentioned a very right thing and uh, it's like it's crazy how how much similarity his preparation and even my preparation had that first you need to target the basic ones right and uh, only the, when you are comfortable with them then you go to the difficult ones and the arrangement which he said for quants is perfect like you start with arithmetic so definitely that arrangement is what you should be following while approaching it okay now while approaching it make sure that you are giving yourself a set period of time okay that in this few days 20 days a month time i'll be finishing quants ka portion because if you're allotting a particular time then you will get it done okay and i'm not asking you to uh, uh, cover the most difficult part of whichever reference books that you're using right you just need to cover the basics and get the formulas down and have it have it in like your muscle memory almost right so first let's let's work on that base let's build your base okay and the moment the next step that you can do is as in when you're giving your sectional practices right you can take up your um, intermediate or advanced quant level ka sectional test of whatever you are using right or whatever test series right use the sectional quant as a benchmark because that will help you understand in which particular topics your uh, proficiency or your comfortability lies 
right so say arithmetic may if you're not even getting uh, if you're not getting the basic questions done but you've gotten some one tricky question right then that's not a positive sign that means that you chose to spend time over that tricky question over the basic ones right point being trade offs decide karenge to accuracy dheere dheere badhega it's a very gradual process and also while you are prepping there will be a point where you will hit a plateau right so you need to further you know really be mindful of how you are performing in your test so eventually after the basic setup which ketan bhai has said kevalya again has said that everyone has done the, this math everyone has done this in their school times right so this everyone has that covered so once everyone has revised the basics it's all about how much you know about yourself at that point like kaun se concepts tumko comfortable hai and how much you can push and you need to identify and work on that and that's the only thing that has worked uh, with respect to me and my accuracy and the other thing that can help the last aspect would be the speed so some people uh, definitely i mean uh, there are some friends of mine who had abacus as a base so uh, some of their uh, maybe calculation speeds were faster but they there's a marginal parity there's a little more comfort if you're faster in uh, calculation but if even if you're not it's not something that can be cannot be built over 5 months of time i think so yeah anyone else has a different strategy definitely vain so uh, my preparation preparation strategy was actually quite similar to manohar and kevalya so uh, like i i am actually uh, pretty good at math so i had to i just had to do the go through the basics once and get the basic rights and after that it was just smooth sailing for me because i knew my basics were right i knew my concepts were right so i knew how to apply with it but since we are talking about the people in the 80 percentile bracket so their first step has to be getting the basic rights if you don't have the basics and fundas right you will you will never be able to go to the intermediate or advanced sections so when you have your basic rights your formulas done your probably the fundamentals clear then you can maybe try even the difficult questions at uh, during the d day but if you don't have even your basics right that's when you go down so for the 80 percentiles your first in, uh, first thing should be from the 20 25 questions any basic the, the 10 to 12 basic questions that appear you have to get those right when you get those right you you are definitely in the 95 percentile bracket as it is and then if you are targeting for the 99 percentile bracket then you need to go for the advanced topics so that's that is a gradual process right so first try to get from the 80 to 95 percent bracket you try to solve all the basic questions right the accuracy should be 100 in all the basic questions and then you should think about the 99 percent bracket you shouldn't be you should actually set your goals according to your strengths over targeting or under targeting will hit you hard so know your strengths and work to that the basic thing i can say